Welcome everyone, this will be a quick video or a quick update video on using JavaScript and HTML in your Flutter web application. I'm mostly making this video out of consistency because I want to document the entire process of making the final Flutter web application, but um, it's very likely that this won't be relevant to you. The current date is September 22nd, and by current I mean the date of me shooting this video, uh, September 22nd, uh, 2019. If it's not this date, or if it's not close to this date, then this issue might not affect you at all. And uh, the reason for that is because um, it is well known. Uh, a lot of people have been complaining about it. Maybe not complaining, but like mentioning the fact that this should be solved. And uh, the last comment that I can see at the time of this video is the fact that they will be um, fixing this in a way that makes sense, <laughs> I guess. And um, if you're interested, you can actually read the, the GitHub issue. And I also made a um, Medium post or a blog post about the actual issue. So feel free to read that for more information. But yeah, the juice of it is uh, essentially that you can't, or you no longer can directly import .html and .js. So if you've been developing anything in Flutter web, or if you have been using Dart to make web applications, then you will probably be familiar with .html and .js. These are the libraries that allow you to directly interact with the um, browser's DOM. So uh, obviously if you can't import those, then you are at a bit of a uh, disposition uh, because you won't be able to do anything HTML and JavaScript related on your um, web application. So instead of me rambling on, uh, let me just show you an example. So I have the default um, Flutter application or demo running. As you can see, it has an Android folder, iOS, and a web folder, meaning it targets all three of these platforms. And if we try and import .html, for example, if we want to do something like a, a link or make something like a link, then you can see that the target of the URI doesn't exist. And this isn't because the library is not available in the .sdk, it's because the analyzer complains and says that um, essentially you cannot use .html in an Android and iOS application, but you can uh, use .html in a web application. And that's why previously we didn't see this analyzer issue um, when Flutter Web was in its own repository. So to overcome this, at least for now, uh, if, if the issue, this, this issue has been solved and it's been added to the analyzer, then you might not see this warning. If you can import .html, then great, you can stop the video. If you can't, then we will need to make use of a additional package to overcome this. And that package is universal HTML. So I've already gone ahead and imported it. Uh, as you can see, universal HTML and Instead of importing .html, I'm gonna say universal HTML, prefer universal. And as you can see, there are two options, uh, prefer SDK and prefer universal. We are interested in the prefer universal. And as you can read here, the library exports .html only in browsers. So the .html will only be available uh, if we are running in a browser. So that's fantastic, that's exactly what we need. So in the on-click uh, increment counter, as I said, this is the default example on pressed in increment counter. We are going to make an alert that says hello world. Okay, so the app is running and if we click increments, we see the pop-up hello world. And in a similar way, we can do that in JavaScript. So I actually can import both. So uh, as you can see, universal JS dot dot as JavaScript or as JS. And then instead of calling HTML window dot alerts, we call JS dot context dot call method and hello world from JavaScript. So hit control S, forming hot restart. Okay, load it. Okay, there we go, we have it. And if we press increments, hello world from JavaScript. And that is that for this video. Um, if you're interested in more information, uh, feel free to give the actual blog post a read. And um, yeah, in the near future, I'm sure we can. Uh, there'll be an easier way to do this. We can probably just import Dart and JavaScript. 
And this is only actually relevant to people that want to make plugins or people that directly want to access um, the DOM. But at least for now, as there are no direct uh, plugin support for browsers, you will need access to HTML and JavaScript. But yeah, that's that for now and catch you in the next video. Cheers.